Well, we've seen then what Jesus tells us in John's gospel. God is God united. Three persons in one God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. And this is very important. Not only is this the way that God has made himself known to us, but that God is like this makes a huge difference to a lot of things. That God is himself a loving relationship. God has always shared love within himself as Father, Son and Holy Spirit means that God is love and can share that love with those he draws to himself. Jesus prayed in verse three of the reading, and this is eternal life, that people can know you, the only true God, and that people can know Jesus Christ, the one you sent. You see, God is loving at the heart of who he is. The Son and the Holy Spirit have always joined in loving the Father and fulfilling his purposes. The Father and the Holy Spirit from before time began join in loving the Son. The Father and the Son eternally rejoice in the love of the Holy Spirit and so on. So God doesn't need us human beings to be complete. But he wants to share the love that he has always experienced and known. He wants others who are yet to appreciate his love to realise that he is reaching out to them. Now, the very first book of the Bible tells us that we human beings have been made by God together, male and female, as the image of the loving, relating God. We are then a bit like him. And that includes being made to relate to others ourselves. We are each special as individuals, but we are made to connect with others and share our lives with others in different ways. As families, in churches, at work, school, in the community and so on. Now at this strange time with so many restrictions on what we can do, and the danger of feeling alone or isolated, how important it is that we remember that we are made to reflect something of what God is like. And this is why we need to keep in touch with each other and encourage one another. And as the only true God is himself equal but different persons who love, we are made to reflect him in this way too. We are each special and not all the same. We are male and female, young and old. We have different backgrounds, different strengths, different opportunities. But we're all made to relate lovingly to others. Recognising we are equal in value, but also different. Different in our roles and our responsibilities. And this is part of the richness of life that reflects the life and love that is God himself. Well, what might you say if you had one evening to pass on thoughts to those closest to us? Well, Jesus took the opportunity of his special last night with his friends to speak of vital things. Much of it about love. His love through his death and love for others that needs to be shared, all because God is love. God has made himself known to us as one God, the only true God, who is also three distinct persons who have always been united in perfect love for each other from before the world was made, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. So God is not a single lonely God, but God who shares love within himself and then with us. God the Father delights in sharing his eternal love by his Holy Spirit with those who he draws to himself through Jesus, his son. Let's pray. 
Lord God, we thank you for who you are. And we thank you that you've made yourself known to us as one God in three persons. Thank you that you are love at the core of your being. Help us to know more of your love and to share it with others. Amen. Well, we're going to sing our final song together. And it's a song which is a prayer. Thank you, O oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit till the work on earth is done.